Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 15 of Treya 1.3. Last episode, we killed I have Cthulhu twice, got ourselves two amazing items of the same kind. The Shield of Cthulhu, the best thing is though, I got the menacing one, so it's got the best damage roll. So, I do lots and lots of damage. N not really, but it, it's, very, it's very useful. We also completed a quest for this little guy. And that gets us on our way to completing more and more fishing quests. We need to do more and more. Give me those shiver thorn seeds. Go ahead and plop you down. There, ooh, there is what I'm after. Uh, we were after getting a little bit of bait. That is obviously for fishing, so we'll capture some fireflies. I could capture birds, but I mean, like, I don't really need these dudes. So, you know, you're a material and you're consumable. I'm, I'm curious, does this work? I, I don't think it will. You, you're not a pet. You, you, hey, no, be free. I thought, yeah, I thought I could free you. Okay, so I need to get those dudes, but they're going to be a little bit out of reach. So, catching fireflies is bait for fishing. That's useful. I kind of want to try, I say try, to kill Eater of Worlds this episode. I know we just killed the Eye of Cthulhu, but it's very possible we could deal with them. We're going to have to go over to the Corruption. We're going to have to set up for it. I do have potions. I need to make more iron skin potions. One should get me a kill, uh, but it's very easy to make, so, like, why not? Uh, let's get... I should be able to with this chest open. Iron skin... Actually, I don't have to be next to the alchemy bench. Duh! So we'll get ourselves one lead over here. Iron skin potion. So I'll have two iron skin potions. And I'll bring one regen potion, just like so keep one in here as a placeholder. Night Owl potion could help me because it's going to be pretty dark. I'll bring a Thorns potion that just returns damage. Don't need that. That helps with arrows, but I don't think it's going to help with like throwing darts. With the Eater of Worlds, what you're going to want is something that throws, to, like I mean, you could melee, but something that when you throw it, it pierces. So throwing knives are very, very useful for that. Shurikens are very, very useful for that. Throwing knives do more damage, though. So we'd like to use those where possible. I'll keep shurikens for extra. Grenades are going to help. No doubt about that, because he's a, he's a segmented enemy. He, he's, one, he's, an en he's one enemy, but he's a bunch of numerous little ones kind of tied together. And this is going to help us out. Uh, we're going to need platforms for this, because we're going to set up kind of another arena. And it looks like we're good on the potion front. I'm capturing you, whether you like it or not, sirs. And or madams. No! That hook is a little bit longer than I thought. That's that's very useful. I think the hook had that range. But, that should be good. Um, we're going to want to head over there. I don't remember. Do I, can I only deal with them during night? I don't think that's the case with the Eater of Worlds. I have Cthulhu, you can only fight during night. Eater of Worlds, I thought you just had to be in the Corruption biome. Could be wrong. I could be. So, we have to go, unfortunately, straight across the, the cold biome. And I still wanted that gold armor. I, I, I still do. But here's the catch. If we kill Eater of Worlds, we are going straight to Demonite. And, I mean, I, I, I don't like skipping the armor. Like... Don't get me wrong, I would like to progress through the tiers. This is still progressing, but I would have liked to have gotten gold armor. However, it has taken quite a bit, and for what it is, it's not truly worth that. You're dead. No lenses. So, I mean, if we can get demonite armor, sweet. Then I can start getting demonite tools, and that, that's really going to open up some new possibilities for me. So I'm interested in that for sure. Wow, I hit, you with, I hit you with 72, and it doesn't even look like it was a crit. But yeah. Demonite armor. If we can get that, that'd be awesome. So we gotta get our butts over here. I will need to get a little bit more logs, more wood. Yeah, day boom, day bloom out of that. That's cool. So I need more logs because we're gonna be making platforms. I will be making campfires for regen. Things again, just like what we did over here. And again, yeah, like for a real boss arena one day, I'm super freaking interested in putting those banners all over the place. Just so that anything and everything that's there, like, maybe I'll have a damage buff for it. I, I don't know, like, whatever walks into my arena. <laughs> Basically, you made a big mistake. I, I want that to be the case. That thing just landed on a zombie. So if you were not aware, 
Fallen Stars, they land on an enemy, they hit them, and they do a ridiculous amount of damage. So, yeah. That's actually really useful during boss fights. Hey! Was I ever in this biome during the night? Well, at least on this Let's Play. I mean, I'm very much aware of zombie Eskimos, but I don't think I, I have been. So, in the ice, the snowy biomes, you get zombie Eskimos, and they can drop that Eskimo set. Pretty funny. Ooh, another Fallen Star. Ooh, another Fallen Star. You just want me to get mana, don't you? Speaking of mana, wasn't there something over here? Oh, no, that's the light pet. For some reason, I thought that was a mana star. So we need to kill you before I get out of the water. There you go. And I'll try to light everything up for you guys. Again, I know it is very dark, and I can't stand it when I'm watching somebody else play, and it's dark. It just doesn't work. So I will keep my torch out as often as not uh, as often as I can. We'll pick that up. Yes, I just shot it to break it, but it worked. So don't complain. <laughs> get that grappling hook on. Wow, we didn't even touch the water. Skills, mad hops. Pick these up. Pick that up, I should say. Kill you. Kill you, come on. 66. Nope, demon eye die. Demon eye. No, I had my back turned. I wasn't even looking. We're fine. Oh, there's a lens. I gotta go back for it. <laughs> so the more lenses we get, the better. Like, if I find myself needing Demonite Ore, I, I can kill either boss, but, like, this just gives me the possibility of summoning or summoning the eye. Yoink. I'm just gonna beat you to death, sir. I'm just gonna beat the crap out of you with my menacing shield. I love how you can combine the two. Melee and use the shield. That's sick. So sick. Get wrecked. Get out of here, punk. You know what? You're gonna die. Is that a goldfish? Why was there a goldfish in this biome? How would he even live? Okay, that's just gold, so I'll leave it be. There's another fully grown shiverthorn. Gimme, gimme. Three seeds out of that. Cool. So we've got, like, more than enough seeds at this point. There's almost no point in me picking them up. I should just leave them be. Because we have plenty at home. And now we are finally out of this biome, so I can stop worrying about the, uh, the frozen debuff. As soon as I get past this part, of course. I hate when that happens. Sometimes when you jump, you, you jump a little too late, so then you use your second jump rather than your first jump. I, I was counting on my double jump back there, but I missed it. Okay. Just ninja my way past you guys. And again, I am just laying torches down for all of you viewers here so you can see in the future as we run past here. Like, maybe I'm not holding a torch at the time. Maybe I'm in a boss fight. I just like to have a torch on the ground already for you. Makes a lot of sense if you ask me. You're getting awfully close, and I don't like it. You should get away. You should get away. You should get away. Get away! I love this thing. It's so goofy. It's so useful. It's so good! Combined with melee, it's beast. Alright. I like that. You need to get out of here. Let me pop this torch down so people can see. Demon Eye. Alright. Keep moving. We're almost in the corruption. And of course, we're going to have to deal with the, the annoying enemies. But I will probably put my little, whatever you want to call it, arena again at the top here. Because I can't really mine Ebstone yet. I can use bombs. We've been over that one. But that does take a lot of time. And I would have to make a lot of glow or sticky ones if I wanted to put them where I wanted to. Ooh, shit. Gotta watch that, dude. So I'm going to work on getting everything lit up for you. Yeah, the problem is going to be enemies here. I should get Light Spain out and kill you, but looks like we can just gun you down. Down you go. Okay, let's start making this nice and flat. Actually, you know what? Let's not. Because what we're going to do is very likely just put this kind of up in the air. Problem is, I'm going to be dealing with a lot of eaters while we're fighting the boss. Eh. That doesn't entice or interest me very much. So, certain markers are off. Uh, how high are we going to go up here? Get out of here. I don't want to be close to the sand biome. Because if you leave the biome, uh, he can despawn. Or maybe he just won't even come over there. So, don't, don't linger on the edge of a biome. It's not wise. I'll just put these here in case, like, I fall or something. Which, obviously, I hope that's never the case. Come on, guys. I got, I, I got building to do. Please back off. Okay, so we're going to build our way up. And then right here should be acceptable. 
So, no, no, I'm built. I'm I'm working here. I'm working. Here. Can I hang up like construction signs? It's like caution wet floor, but caution GTFO. Is is that a thing? I can make signs, but not caution signs. Get out of here. All right. So, same principle as the last fight. I don't even think I need to make it anywhere near as long of a platform. So much as having layers vertically is a good idea. If my understanding of the fight is still correct, I remember that being very useful. Get out of here, guys. Holy god damn it. Stop it. Stop it! Alright, this is not the weapon of choice here. Not the weapon of choice. Just melee him. The only problem with the harpoon, if miss. And that's uh, just as much my problem as it is. It's just as much my weakness as it is the item's weakness. If I miss, my B, but it's also a weakness of the item. I won't completely blame the item. The musket's just all around better, I think. It's very situational. Aw, oh, I missed that shot. I tried to lead it. I just went through him. I saw that. Okay. Oh, see, now we gotta also be careful with what, we're, what we just did there. If I jump up, I'm I'm starting to leave the biome. Like I mentioned, you don't want to leave the biome. Uh, he might not follow me up there. So this will be as high as I go. <laughs> you need to knock it off. Got him. Okay, got to build as fast as I can. Here's where having a sunflower would be really nice. Decrease those spawns. No, stop making stairs. I gave Smart Cursor a try. I regret it instantly. Alright, Lights Bane. Do your thing. Just manhandling that thing. That's funny. Down you go. This this would be over with. Holy sh <laughs> I'm about to just like box myself in. Well, having that banner is very useful in this situation. I I can't complain. So we don't want to go upwards. What we're going to do is go down. And Oh, why is it like launching me off the platform there? The shield was giving me that, that that jump thingy for some reason. I want this platform right here. Back away, you foul demon. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to place my banner yet. You hold on. Okay, so this might honestly be enough. I, I, I probably want to... Stop! Why is it doing that? I'm not double tapping. <laughs> oh god, I knew it would be a problem. Uh, this might be enough. Maybe one more layer would be wise, but so far, so good. Okay, you guys are going to come after me now. So I have made it easy for you to reach me. Die. Oh, okay, so platforms. Eh, that should be good. Okay. Let's kill you. As soon as I put this banner down, I'm going to be doing more damage to you. Just remember that. Just re you are you are feeding my banner addiction. So you know what? Keep coming at me. That ought to be acceptable. We'll stop. We'll start plopping torches down. Looks like you're gonna have to make some more. Thankfully, we have plenty of gel for that. Let's favorite these. So it looks like when the stack runs out, you have to refavorite. Cool. Good to know. No. Way with you. Get out of here. No. Nope. I'm just gonna dodge you. I have building to do. I'll probably be able to get away with less campfires now, since this is not as big of a an arena. So you just want to be able to not be within his reach. Like, he's going to fly at you at an arc and then come back at you again, so you want to have multiple places that you can stand on. Alright, so, if we're going to plop down that Eater of Souls banner, we need a, a rock. We need some kind of actual block to place this. So right here is good. So that gives me increased damage. Does it tell you exactly how many or how much? I don't know. <laughs> I, am an, I am entirely okay with you guys getting stuck there. That that works for me. Just like this. So I don't think we can summon him during the day. I wonder if I break the third... I, I don't remember. If I break that third one, will he summon? I think he will. We can try it. So I'll, what I'll do is break the third shadow orb and then run upstairs like a girly man. It's strategy, okay? It's, it's not. I'm not. I'm not a girl for running away. It's 
perfectly legit. It's a perfectly legitimate strategy. But two campfires should work. We'll haul butt right up the rope. In fact, this might be the better one to haul butt up because it's uh, closer to my platforms, and it looks like I can get away with putting ropes here. So what we'll want to do is get, go up here, so we have a, like a long opportunity to go straight back up this rope. So you're going to be able to jump over. Because we're going to want to run as fast as I can. I don't want to be down there long. Okay. Yeah, come on. I am building. I am building rope here. It's, it's still building. Keep putting torches everywhere. We want to be able to see. Okay. That knockback. Use that grappling hook to my advantage. And kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Boink. Boink. Down you go. You're not killing me. Get out of here. I don't want to really use those healing potions because I only have five. Which makes me wonder, didn't I get healing potions from the Eye of Cthulhu? Or did I get lesser ones? I may have gotten lesser ones. Quite a bit of money down here. And the only problem with this little elevator thing is if I get hit, I get knocked off. No, stop stop lunging! Okay, so we're gonna want to put bombs. We can attempt. Guys, uh zero promises with what's about to happen. But we can attempt to kill him now. I'm going to try. Okay, that, let's see what that does. Okay, gotta be careful because if your bombs hit that orb, it will break. I want to make sure I am very much ready when I trigger it. Okay, so we'll do two more bombs. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, that's, that's close. One more. Ought to do it. Get out of here, foul demon. I should be able to break that and go. Damage Vile Thorn. So, Vile Thorn's a very useful item. I'm not worried right there. Let's just go. Oh. Did you get a speed buff, sir? I don't know. It feels like you got a speed buff. Let's drop some grenades on him. And I'm going to press B to get my buff. Nope. 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 So the things he's shooting at me, I believe, are part of the expert mode. And it appears that he's shooting them very frequently. Like that little slime ball thing. That's new. That's probably going to kill me. Like, I am very much almost dead. We weren't even at max HP when he attacked me, or hit me, or when we started the fight. Yeah, those slime thingies are freaking ridiculous. His... His damage isn't what hurts. Come on, 12 seconds. Can I do it? Come on. Grenades, keep going. Keep going. No! See, he shot me, like, from all the way off screen. Come on. Come on. That takes the edge off a little bit. So that makes it a little more difficult to do the, f the killing or the method that I'm doing. With the <laughs> Can I hit them, at least? It appears that I can hit them with projectiles. Ow. They're obviously very difficult to hit, and they come from every different direction. Come on. Oh, God. It's not even him I gotta dodge. It's the little projectiles. And they're screwing my day up. Ah! All right, we're, we're basically dead. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yep. We're at 11. Oh, man. <laughs> 17 gold. Yeah, I probably should have been a smarter individual and uh, not did that. Uh, there's plenty of shadow orbs there. I can still resummon him, but I needed to get a taste for what he has to offer. And now I know that throwing knives aren't cutting it. Vile Thorn, if we didn't get such a bad roll, could be very useful. So this is what we got out of the shadow orb. Uh, that's not what we got out of the shadow orb. So it, it, it goes through walls. And it's very, it's very good against segmented enemies. It stays there a little bit. It lingers. Obviously, if I can get gold armor, that'd help. But I kind of wanted to just go freaking kill him. But, of course, he physically only damages me. <laughs> he only damaged me like eight. But those things he shot at me. Yeah, no, those things hurt. So we're not ready for Eater of Worlds yet. Not until we get an armor upgrade, I don't think. 50 damage is a little bit BS to deal with at our level. Hmm. 
I'm trying to think how I could try to cheese him a little bit to go faster, but it's not hitting me. I can't, bl I can't believe I lost 17 gold. I totally forgot to put that gold away. That's okay. Apparently gold is relatively easy to get back, so I am not even concerned. Especially with farming bosses, but I'll just throw it in here. It's really an item that drops gold and follows you. <laughs> so, if that's not a little bit ridiculous, I don't know what is. Let's check with Jay, see what our potential quest could be. Sky Lakes! Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Don't, don't even. Don't give me that. There is a lake up here that just happens to be in the sky. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. Well, at the very least, I've got an arena set up over there, and that will benefit me. This is a little bit dangerous, but it speeds it up. <laughs> so, yeah, we, ha we have an arena set up over there. It helps. The thing I need to worry about, I need to figure out how I'm dealing with, is definitely the whatever it is he shoots at me. That was, that was really easy. <laughs> so it's the I don't even know what they are there's like toxic things he shoots at me it's the same thing that the eater of souls later on will shoot at me I think they're called big eaters at that point and not, not the eater yeah the eater of souls the, the, those little floaty things that we were killing the whole time we were building in hard mode they shoot at you and that's probably what he's shooting at me Jay I already did your quest want to give me something Jay wants you as the official expert LP, LP errand monkey Shut up. Two gold, crate potion, and apprentice bait. Crate potion, very much, obviously, as the name implies, gives you a better chance to get crates when fishing. <laughs> no big secret there. And it is a fishing related item, so I'll throw it in this chest. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll wrap up the episode, but in the next one, we will start thinking of strategies to deal with Eater of Worlds. And again, no big deal that I died. This is expert mode. If I don't die on every boss figuring it out, well then I'm, I'm obviously doing something incredibly wrong. But we'll figure it out. Um, the arena, I think, is pretty solid. We just need to figure out how we're dealing with all those projectiles. Maybe going up more would be a good idea. Uh, like the platforms. So I, can, I have more room to dodge. Get out of here. What? I, an iron skin potion. They know what I need. Thanks, man. So I will think of things that we can create, items that we can obtain that may help us out later. I I, I don't know if I want to... Maybe we'll just man up. We'll just nut up and make silver armor. Let's see. Do I have enough to make it now? Uh, silver... No, it's platinum. I have the chest open. Why, why am I not seeing silver? Okay, it's all the way over there. That should be enough to make the armor set. It's not that great, but it's better than nothing. Four, three... So 25, 30, so 55, 75. All right, well, we'll do that. So it's no gold armor, but with the set bonus, it should be better than iron armor. So we had 12, now we have 16. Cool. Set bonus, three defense. So now we have upgraded armor. Again, it's not gold, but it's that much more defense on top of the eight defense that we'll be getting. That ought to help me out. There's no question about that. All right, guys, I need to wrap the episode up here. This was episode 15. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.